啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. We are in Hogsport, this lovely little little harbour town. Look at it; isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty. Look at that! Oh, I love these houses up on the hills here. Oh, there's a little car park for the hospital here. Fantastic patients arriving. It's all going on. It's all going on. For sick people. For sick people. Ah. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Right. Okay. Well, I've got some messages building up, so we should probably work through them. Register Look. Uh, oh. That's a bit morbid. Right. Okay. Patient death. Oh no. Sad news. Our first patient died. Yes, we saw them die, didn't we, at the end of the last episode, and we did get our janitor with a ghost capture qualification to bust that ghost. So that was fantastic and we did that um and of course yes when patient dies sometimes a part of them remains the most terrifying part sadly this can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging on to life uh, not only that but go some messy blighters leaving a trail of ectoplasm um they also have a habit of dematerializing and popping up elsewhere um any janitor can sweep up the ectoplasm though um, so that's a good thing. Um, who should you call a janitor with a ghost capture qualification? Of course, they are fully trained with the latest auto uh, psychic ghost suction uh, technology. Okay, in future, we might even be able to harvest spiritual matter for use by our research team. Research. Um, oh, Alice Periwinkle is ready for a promotion from junior janitor to janitor so she's gained enough experience on her job uh, to be promoted and look if we do decide to promote her um she not only gets this tr a training slot not that we've opened training yet but she'll also be 15 percent faster she'll be 10 percent better at upgrading things and 20 percent better at maintenance fantastic we are going to give her a pay rise in fact we're going to make her really happy with her pay and promote her and we have a lightheadedness emergency there's been an outbreak of lightheadedness in the area and understandably most of the sufferers would like their heads back um, there's a group looking for treatment now. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group, should we have them sent here? I think we should. So look, seven patients for lightheadedness. We do have a deluxe clinic in the hospital, one in the hospital. Um, we need to do it in 90 days. Um, and this is our rewards. Look, 10 reputation, 10 kudosh, and 10,000 doubloons. We're going to say yes. Um, I am. We can do seven in one room. Although... It does sort of come down to this doctor, who is starting to get a little bit tired. Um, let's give them a nice pay rise. Let's make them really happy. Just see if we can keep them going uh, through their bit of an energy funk, which could be a bit of an issue right now. Um, and what we might do is put down um, a couple of extra bennies, as we've got quite a lot of them coming in. Now, we can see here they all say VIP. VIP, this is our emergency people here vips and we want to make sure that they are always at the top of the queue okay um if a normal light-headed patient comes in that's not an emergency uh oh look she's run to the toilet run run you can make it you can make it charlotte worry not there she goes she's made it well done so here we go you can see they're all queuing up we're uh, giving the machine a bit of a tune-up Now's not the time, Norma. <laughs> and we can see we've got a cue warning saying, hey, look, there's quite a lot of people queuing for the D-Lunks clinic all of a sudden. Yes, we have an emergency on. Oh, my God. Are you done yet? No. Why now? Why now? Why now? <sighs> why, why do this? Why do this? This is terrible. <sighs> this is terrible. Right. Okay. Now they can start going in. Jeez Louise. How much time did we waste on that? Oh my god. Players are reminded <sighs> to stay hydrated. Oh look. Seek. Hey. Seek. What's the name of uh, Zeke? Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. 
First one, cured. Boom. Excellent. Excellent. They are all at the top of the queue. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, we now bring you this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffle Tris. <laughs> and what a delight to the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast what? are particularly good. Ugh. I give it four salt shakers. Four salt shakers. Oh my god, are we going to do this? They're running around a bit. They're probably getting a bit bored. Possibly a bit hungry. Should we give the ones waiting maybe some... Oops. Some snacks. Maybe. Maybe they would like... Are any of you bored? Maybe we can just make it a bit more pleasant over here as well. Yeah, look. Now. Yeah, see what's happened is that he's come over here to try and reduce his boredom and that, that if they wander far away from the room it's going to take longer oh my goodness oh my goodness the doctor's tired quick now's not the time it's it's all going pete tong um it's got four more to go and now they're scattered all over the hospital come back that's it Come along now. It was getting tired. It's uh, it was a thing, wasn't it? Okay. Be a trooper. Work hard. <laughs> um, and we can see here. These are the their rank. So you can see here that he's a junior doctor, which is two two stars. Um, and this line going around it is the experience that he's gaining. So we can see on. This uh, next on the doctor rank here, he's got 75 out of 250 experience. But you can't promote, we won't be able to promote him because he's got this, he needs to learn a new qualification first. And of course, we've not unlocked training. Um, so, so that will be a problem and that will make him unhappy that he can't learn a new skill and get promoted that that will work against us we're running out of time this isn't going to happen if we had been a bit more on it um and noticed that the doctor went for a break because i didn't notice then um we could have got through this we could have definitely got through this um it has been done i've done it i've done it before but not this time not this time and maybe this doctor might be a little bit slow he's all right but uh, he's, i mean he's pretty good but he's a little bit slow um, so we're not going to get them all, but we've done the majority. We will get our rewards because we've done really well, everybody. We've done really, really well. This is fantastic. This will be really good for our reputation as well. Really good for our reputation. And we do have good reputation. While we're here, actually, should we have a look how the... Oh, no. We killed that one. Um, our reputation is going up, look, for prices. Oh no. Oh, the treatment failed. We killed one, you see here, failed. Boom. No. Bell, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh no, now they're a ghost and they're going to scare everybody. Where's our janitor that can do this? Two point radio. Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. There you go. So they're going to die because we didn't get Ellie in in time. To drug mixer. Damn it. So we got them. We just didn't do it in time. It's a real shame. Oh well, oh well. Here is our special report. So we did five out of seven because uh, one of our treatments we did kill. We did kill one of them, didn't we? Um, but we do. It's it's enough. We have cured enough of the group, so we do get our rep, our kudosh, and we get our money. Woo! So we we did all right. It we went it went well. It went well. It just didn't go perfect, and that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Um, you know. That this hospital's doing all right, you know. This hospital is actually doing all right. 
Um, and look, we have almost earned the amount of money. So if we got this to level six, we would get our second star. Do you know what? I think we should do that. What rooms do we have here? I think we've built um, all the rooms that we can here. Oh my God. Look after that machine. Blimey, did you see that? That, that was a close call, everybody. Did you see that? So what we could do um, to help boost our level is we could increase the prestige of the rooms. If the rooms are nicer, um, it has an overall uh, benefit. Now, we could unlock some of these items. Now, we don't have loads of kudosh. Um, so you have to pick and choose carefully. Now, this chair, it's only five kudosh, right? Uh, hardly comfortable or comfortably hard. But what we can do is if we put this in the room, okay, he can now sit down. And what this does is just helps keep him happy while on the job, while he's idling, he can enjoy just sitting down. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Um, he might get thirsty while he's on the job. So we could give him a drinking fountain. There is also the coffee maker. It's a lot more expensive though to unlock. And this also gives them a caffeine buzz. So they start moving around faster uh, for a time. But um, if he's thirsty, but it's not time to go on a drink, uh, on a drink, on a break, he could have a drink from the water fountain and satisfy that need. At the moment, he's not thirsty, so it's not really a problem. But by adding this, we help him be even more happy and satisfied while on duty. Isn't that fantastic? I think that's pretty fantastic. Um, now, while it doesn't really make a great deal of sense in this room, just to try and boost the prestige, we're going to pop that in. Um, do you know what we could do? Um, you can order your extra crunchy burgers. Should put some more of these these things in. No, I'm not gonna put any more in. Machine's a bit big. Two point radio. I feel like I should be able to put a there okay oh is he into acting look <laughs> so what we're doing is we're slowly improving the room look we've made it to level three um on this room Oh, what's this? Health inspect inspection. Henry Jobsworth, the county's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth went to, uh, on to say that he looks forward to assessing our facility according to county mandated standards and regulations. He'll be arriving soon. A good report will help our reputation. Now, from what I understand, different people that come and uh, judge uh, your facilities... Um, have different things that they're interested in. Okay. Has seen my now, from what I understand, or well, I don't, I don't. I'm trying to work out which, what they like, right? Which ones are interested in which? Now, Henry Jobsworth. Where is he? He's traveling. Right. Henry Jobsworth, when he arrives, is he going to be in this car here? Yes. He has a hard hat on. Okay. He has a hard hat on. Um, and sometimes uh, that the, message, the messages read different. And one of the messages that I, I read that he sent through about his inspection sort of suggested that he might be... <laughs> might be uh, interested particularly interested in things that require maintenance and upkeep so this is why i've just been around and tried to sort out the upkeep on on machines and stuff like that because i think that he has a particular interest um in this sort of stuff i'm not 100 percent sure on this yet it's a, it's it's a theory and he does go through the bins a lot i've noticed that he does rummage through the bins quite a lot 
uh, which is a thing. Ooh, staff promotion. Um, oh, <laughs> trying to cover the camera. Um, so Norma here. Um, from junior janitor to janitor. Look, she gets all these. If we promote her, she gets all these speeds boosts and things. So we definitely want to promote her. So there we go. But we won't be able to promote her again. She'll now gain experience, but we'll want training. Um, and needs to be trained before we can promote her any further. So we're just uh, seeing what he's doing. So how's this? Oh, the easy scan didn't get... Oh my goodness, quick. Quick, quick. The fact that it's currently being repaired, do you think that'll help? Because it was really bad, wasn't it? Don't know. He may have not liked that. Don't know. We've been trying to keep the toilets nice. We have been trying to keep the toilets nice. Does he like them? I think so. Hopefully. Okay, so it's now going to go to it's now going to go to the deluxe clinic. It's in fairly good nick. It's in fairly good nick. Let's check the toilets now. There's probably not much point in plant needs watering. Might need a new janitor, you know. Might need an, another janitor. Should we see what have we got here? Wow. Wow. Ooh. Right, what we might do here, get her promoted, what we might do here is just go into jobs for janitors and we may get if her to concentrate at a loss as to the correct usage of the English language, you may enjoy on these things. Guide to good grammar. A public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I would do one to proper enunciation as well. But I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. There we go. So, I might see. Now, with uh, she's got so much maintenance skill. So, I'm thinking Please stop coughing. if she focuses on more of those sort of maintaining aspects. There he is. So, he's done. Hopefully, he was happy. Hopefully, he was happy uh, with uh, what we achieved. Or what we're, what we're trying to achieve, anyway. Um, I hope so. I do hope so. We're trying here. We are trying here. We could do with getting it to level 6. We really could do with getting it to level 6. Ooh, ward emergency. A ward. A group of ward. A group of ward patients. Well done. Have fled from uh, the... Uh, have fled from an Orb Wellness Foundation and are now looking for further treatment. They fled. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. So... They, uh, five patients were bed faced. This sounds good. This sounds good. Look, we've got the beds. We've got a fantastic nurse in here. Oh, who is really tired. Quick. Um, what have we got? Oh. What other nurses do we have at the moment? Mm. Yeah, I think we might employ you very quickly um to also Nurse work to the pharmacy. on the ward yeah End of year approaching. to deal with this influx i think i think we will have to do that blimey that was a bit it was too tired too tired to deal with our emergency okay shall we open them all <gasps> oh look we got most prestigious hospital patient choice award as well. Oh my god, we're doing so well. Uh, Jock Plum. Uh, but it was Troy this time for the nurses. So Jock has won a second award. Um, and Troy won an award this year. We'll go and check Troy out. See if we can give him a pay rise. Employer of the year we got as well. Oh wow, we're doing really well. Hey, this is great. This is great. Okay. Um, so, where is Troy then? Who is Troy? Oh, yeah. This guy. I like this guy. I'm very pleased with this guy. So, what we're going to do is just make sure he's top-notch happy. What's wrong with Rory here? Uh, Rory's not very happy, is he? Would you, Rory, like to go um, on a break? Go on a break. Excellent. So, here they all come. Here they all come, and hopefully, should be okay to deal with it. I mean, I'm not really sure. Now, 
I know I keep putting the patient stuff up, um, at the staff pay up over here, but you can go to this pay review button. And you can see, oh, actually, you can see here that 100% of the staff are now very happy with the pay. So we've actually got everybody. Everybody. Oh, no, we don't. Oh. Okay. I was looking at just nurses. Just nurses. Let's go to everybody. So we can see here 18% are just satisfied. 18%. So, should we deal with them? Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be worn at all times. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Knobbly knee syndrome. Is that actually... Do you think knobbly knee syndrome is going to be like a... Surgery thing in the in the future. Do you think that's a disease that we've not come across yet? Might be. Mr. Jobsworth has sent us the report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages, so we haven't read it. But the conclusion reads, One of the county's <gasps> better medical destinations, destined to be a favourite of the sickly enthusiasts in the know. Well done. <gasps> an encouraging report from an influential figure in the county healthcare. Yeah, so I think he might be interested. I think if Henry Jobsworth is coming to your hospital, because look at that, it's worth... I think. Um, I've just, I haven't just done this. Making sure that your machines and your toilets are in good nick, I think. I think so. Do it, guys. Do it. I think it works. Okay. Look at them. Loads of them. Now, what we can do is we can, we can say, hey, allow two nurses to work in there. So now Troy will... Uh, wander over to the ward we could uh, we could make him go a bit quicker and it just means that because we've got quite a lot of patients in right now two nurses can assist in um looking after them and and discharging them because these two are both ready to be discharged there we go and when we do have two nurses to do the job which is fantastic just checking up on this patient look they're cured Look at that. Everybody's getting cured and better. It works. Isn't it really good? It's really, really good. And what we're going to do, actually, because something I noticed about the nurses, is that we've got Oscar here, who's really great, working in um, pharmacy. But I think what we might do... I don't know, though. Because they do have a treatment skill, so they would technically be better in the pharmacy. They would have a, a better success rate. But I think Oscar's doing all right. Oh, he's killed some people. Hmm. <laughs> we'll leave it we'll leave it we'll leave those other two on the ward i think uh perfect we cured the entire group oh my god we did a perfect job everybody uh this has really helped our reputation and we've been sent a big reward yes we have wow oh hey we did really well with that we did real really really well then now um we want to get this to level six. So, shall we see if we can do something? Oh, did you see this as well? Look, that we can make it so that the staff room, you can say who can and can't use it, which is great. New PA announcer. So, let's see if we can increase um, the prestige of this room a little bit more. Um, Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. And if we can... It'll help towards our hospital level. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. We don't have a lot of items at the moment. This is the problem. Oh dear. It has a foul nose hinting at leftover baked beans. As for the taste, well, I would rather lick an actual toad than drink another glass. Charmer, any? That we're doing something weird with the chairs. Just trying to get as much in there as possible. Could really do with going this um, up uh, to another level, right? Let's see if we can get this to level four. <sighs> it's a little bit weird, but we don't have a lot of choice at the moment, unfortunately, in, um, in the items that we can put down. So it gets a little bit weird. But we're very, very close, look. We're very, very close. Maybe we can put another one of these in. Oh. 
we have any more cheap pictures? There's loads of items. Look at the light. Oh, oh, should we get the eye tester? Look, it's only five kudosh. Yeah. There we go. So it went up. Went up a level. I didn't check to see if our hospital went up. But I, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure doing this with the rooms helps. Um, we could just build another room. But. You know, there's no need for any more rooms. But there is a need to make these rooms a little bit nicer. You know, there is. So we might as well do it. No? I think so. Look, look, we could put these uh, scale. These are decorative item. I've seen <laughs> the staff members uh, use this. <sighs> uh, play around with it a bit. It makes me giggle. They get on it and weigh themselves and stuff when they're idling. Kind of like it. Um, should we give them another plant? Yeah. Um, where are we? We're at sort of level two. Does that do anything to the level? Oh. I don't know. The thing went away. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this definitely helps. But the thing is, is that if you keep putting plants down, they do need to be watered, right? <laughs> so it's it's a thing, right? So that did help the level go up, definitely. It did. It did. But the problem with all these plants, <laughs> problem with all these plants. <gasps> we might buy the hand sanitizer. Look, we can afford it. And it's a really important one. It helps keep people much cleaner and sanitised. So, I, do you know, I might start popping these around the hospital as well. I'd really like to have these in every room. Um, these would be great to have. Look, especially in the toilets, right? Every room should have a hand sanitizer. Excellent. Excellent. I don't, can we turn this overlay off? Oh no, because we've got the, we're using the hand sanitizer. So let's put the uh, hygiene overlay on. You can see the hygiene is actually pretty good. We've killed oh, we've killed somebody else. We've killed them. There we go. Hand sanitizers for days. Um, oh, what I might do is just move this picture. I like to put the hand sanitizer by the door. It's almost like a reminder before they go out the room. Like you know, use that, please. Use that. Um, and you know what? Maybe just outside the toilets would be a good place. What do we think? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And what we could do, actually. Um, I might put one here. Um, what we might do. Looking at it. Um, is put some Venice down over here. Comes palpitation. The energy drink made with the discarded pulps of oranges. Oh, and just a drop of rocket fuel. Drop of rocket fuel. Because sleep is for the weak. Sleep is for the weak. Palpitation is an energy drink. Um, it's here. Look, palpitation. That's an energy drink. Uh, stock palpitation. A drink that's just about legal. It's got rocket fuel in it, apparently. How's that legal? Let's um, put a bin by reception, I think. And also one of these. Okay. This must be helping with our level. <laughs> what other rooms could we do stuff with? Do stuff with? Um, oh, yeah. So we could probably do with... Um, look, see, they use them. Isn't it great? And now he's more hygienic and better for our hospital. So he could do with um, a chair. And... Um, Look, if it gets thirsty, there's uh, there's uh, some drinky, some drinky pops. Um, excellent. No, can I put this in here? Surely not. No, it's invalid. But say, well, that doesn't make any sense. So this is now level three. I really want this. I really want the medicine cabinet. To be honest. Oh look, we could put we could put this in here. Hey, there we go. Always oh, using the. Uh, Whatever that is, that sort of scanning thing. Is that good? And that, I think, is his skills. We saw he got plus 25 diagnosis or something like that. 
I think that's to do with him, or is it? Or is it his diagnosis? Do you know? I'm not sure. I'm going to pay attention to that. The happiness didn't go up though. I don't know. Oh, you're doing some maintenance. Fantastic. Good. Keep it up. Jolly good. Jolly good. Um, oh, another emergency. Lightheadedness. There's um, an outbreak of lightheadedness. <gasps> it's another group. Shall we get them in? I think we should get them in. Um, but we won't watch them this time because I think that's there. I think, I think you know, we're done. And um, I am struggling with the items that we have and the fact that we've built all the rooms to just push it to level six to get that second star i am struggling to do it um maybe while they're doing their thing what we'll do is just build um maybe a small toilet just for staff could we do that um oh dear what's happened here we've ruined that farm um we might build a toilet just for staff just especially especially for staff Look at that. That'll be alright. And these external windows, they will get blocked off when we when we build this. Right. They'll get blocked off. So we'll put we'll put that there. I'll put a little hand sanitizer in. Hey, this will be nice. Just a little toilet for them. Put that there actually. With a bin there. Hey, that's nice. And then what we can do. Oh! Oh wait, see, we've done it! We've done it. We've got the second star. And Harrison Wolf's playing. Two point radio. What's up, Harrison? You're listening to Harrison Wolf. The yeah. lone voice of reason. The lone voice of reason. Spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. Oh, yeah. So open your eyes and your ears and get ready to find out. I feel like he's really not very good at opening on. his eyes. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. Fantastic. I like it when people play musical instruments. So we've got two, two stars. Um, and we are probably going to proceed. Look, we've unlocked the salty snacks machine. Woo! Um, so what we'll do, I think, we'll, we'll just we'll finish what we were doing here before I forget. Right. So this is going to be for staff only. Um, and this one over here is going to be for patients only. And you can you can see here that you can also make them just for just boys' toilets, girls' toilets, whatever you want to do, really. Um, but I, I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. Um, a little toilet just for the staff. Ah, oh, excellent. Hogsport, we're going to move on to Lower Bullocks in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.